Hello, and welcome back to Lord of Heroes on Nearest Gaming. We have another Hero Spotlight today. After a long time, things have been busy. Sorry it took this long. I kept saying I would be doing this, and uh, finally getting around to it. So the hero we'll be looking at today is Earth Charlotte. She is our only Earth Cleric in the entire game currently. Which is a little sad. No more options in that regard, but... Thankfully, she is very good at what she does, so let's get the rundown on her skills, shall we? Her S1 is going to be her only damaging skill, um, but she's a cleric, so she's not really going to be using this for damage. This one attacks a selected enemy, has a 50% chance to reduce their attack power for one turn. This goes up in damage for the first two levels, and then gets an extra debuff chance up to 60 on level 4. Some more damage, and then... Ups the debuff duration to two turns. More effects can be added to this via her relics, but we will get to those in due time. Her S2 is one of her bread and butter skills. This one has a four turn cooldown, fills burst gauge by 390, heals the selected ally in proportion to the user's attack power, which is strange for a cleric, but increases her own action gauge by 50%. This will go up to fills her action gauge to the max at level 4, so it is a free action. Otherwise, it gives you some extra recovery at level 2, 3, and 5, and goes down to a 3 turn cooldown at level 6. Which will make this happen much faster, considering at that point you will be given a free action gauge. Her burst heals all allies in proportion to the user's attack power and generates a shield based on the user's maximum health that lasts for 2 turns. This starts at a spirit cost of 3, going down to a low, low cost of 2 at max rank. Otherwise, you're getting 2 recovery improvements and 2 shield improvements. This is one of the best abilities in the game for blocking incoming AoEs, as it shields your entire team and can be quite hefty. Otherwise, her passives are Fire Elemental Resistance and Defense. So one thing to note here is... She has two different scalings, one of which is not ideal for a cleric, obviously, because she's not supposed to be doing damage, but all of her healing scales with attack power, so that's alright to splash in some, although you want her to be more defensive as a cleric so she doesn't die frequently. And her other scaling is her health. That's going to be for her shield on her burst. So the more health she has, the better the shield's going to be. However, let's look at her stats real quick. So as you can see here, I have her at Ascension 1 and level 60. Her health is still kind of on the low side, honestly, which is a little sad considering that's one of her scalings. However, with one, two different health items, she still gets a hefty 15k extra health, which will help immensely, both in her survivability and her shielding. Her attack and defense are a little bit on the higher side, Still not immensely high, but still very usable. I've splashed in currently one attack and two defense to bring her up to this currently. And one resistance at the moment. Resistance is always good on your clerics, so they do not get crowd controlled, therefore preventing them from doing their one job, healing your team and blocking incoming damage. Speed, honestly, would be another good ring or necklace stat to make her take actions faster, especially considering her speed is quite low to start off. Obviously, you can splash in more health here if needed. However, with this setup, she's going to be quite durable, very hard to kill, and is going to provide very useful shields and heals to the entire team. Let's take a look at her relic. These just got added in a recent update within the last couple weeks. Her default one is going to increase her health, so that's going to give her more shielding and survivability again. Her Refined. Upon attacking, 50% chance to heal the ally currently with the lowest amount of health by 15%. I would imagine of their maximum health. This gets up to a 60, 70, 80% chance. Honestly, I, I said this when I first saw this with the update, and I'll say it again. I think this is a little bit redundant with a healer set given the healer set is guaranteed at the start of her turn, and the only attack she has is her S1. So I don't know that the chance of this happening is even worth bothering with. 
Although it does look pretty. Now, however, this one, her divine, upon attacking, 50% chance to remove one of the most recent debuffs from the enemy. So buff stripping, as an added effect to her one, making it even more useful, is always welcome. I would honestly go with this one. If you get the opportunity. This gets up to an 80% chance as well, which is 20% higher than her attack debuff by default. Surprising that that's as low as it is, honestly. Also with equipment, given the healer set is only 4 required, it is recommended that you run a 2 set of something else, say like a resistance set, to give her added survivability. Or a defense or health set, or even more stats. Let's get into aesthetics. This is her A1 outfit. She starts at this by default with non-ascended. And Ascension 2 is going to be here. She currently has two outfits. Here is her first one. Her White Spring Spirit. And her Halloween dress. The limited versions of which are here. And here. Now we shall get into some ability visuals. We're just going to run with a basic team for the aesthetics here of Earth Charlotte. Because we need her to see her abilities. A... Spirit Booster in Water Joshua and Damage in the form of Light Frame, just so we can actually clear through this. In a normal setting with level 3 and 4 enemies, Charlotte probably could handle them on her own, especially at level 60. But let's get into it. Here is Charlotte's S1 with an assist. Gonna fire off a little blue ability there. Here is her S2. Use this on any low health specific targets that you need. And this will get her to have another turn almost immediately if you have it at the proper level. You can select anyone from this menu on your team. Voila! 8700 health. That's just with one attack main stat. Here is her burst animation. This will heal all of your allies based on her attack strength and give them a shield based on her maximum health. Doesn't matter who you select here, it'll hit everyone. <laughs> Approximately 5,000 health to everyone, and a shield that will block incoming damage. Ideal for AoEs, and any other turns on an enemy, like say a boss, where something very strong is coming in. That is going to be our conclusion on this Earth Charlotte Hero Spotlight. Forgot to mention this at the beginning. She is one of your starter heroes, so you will have her from the beginning. And yet, she is not weak whatsoever. She is one of the best healers in the game. And she is well worth investing in. Until the next video, I will be seeing you.